Hey, it's me, Slay by Jordan. The company we are working with today is Jolissa Hair. They sent over this highlight body wave 13 by 4 lace frontal wig and 24 inches 180% density. We're here with my girl Reese B. I'm going to show you guys how to do an install over locks. You're going to need some rubber bands and then you're just going to need your hands. <laughs> so you're going to part the hair down the middle. It won't be perfect, but just part it as closely as you can get it. Take a small to medium section and you're just going to start braiding. But you're not going to regular overhand braid. You're going to under braid or what some may call French braid. You're going to braid where you cross the two side pieces over the middle piece instead of going under and that way the braid sits directly on the scalp and it's almost hidden instead of like how it normally sits on top of the scalp everything is like enclosed and that makes a flatter base for your install especially when you're doing locks it also makes a flatter base for your hair when you're doing um when the hair is just loose and regular as well but definitely with locks you definitely want to always under braid do not regular braid with locks it's gonna look humpy and lumpy under braid that's the key that's the secret to how i get my wig so flat um with the locks i just under braid and instead of um grabbing each uh previous braid into the next i leave all the ends loose and just tie them with the rubber band to secure them from un coming unloose and then i'm going to show you guys in the end how i bring them all together and still keep that flat base When you're done, you should have about eight to 10 braids um, collectively. So now I'm gonna take about three braids and I'm taking my blonde thread and I'm gonna sew them across the nape of her hairline in the back. And I like to use blonde thread because you can clearly understand and see what is thread and what is a lock. That way when someone is taking this out or she's taking this out, she know what is thread and what is actually her hair. We are trying to preserve the locks in the hair by all means. So. I like to do this preventative measure that way my clients um, or whomever is um, taking out the install doesn't um, cut their hair because we hate that. Once I sew that first side to the other side and I'm gonna grab the other side and sew that on the bottom underneath that as well. So I just sew one side to the next and then sew that side to the other side. And that's how I get my flat foundation for my locks. I do the same, same breakdown 
for everybody who has locks and I um, connect them in the back like this and it just works. And this is how it looks once it's done. As you can see, it's flat with the majority of the hair at the nape, which is perfectly fine. And we're good to go to do our ball cap. And we did that off camera. I'm using my Ruby Kisses Level 16, the lightest shade in the palette. I've already added it to her cap, and I'm going to add it to the lace on this wig. Um, I think the lace on this wig is, like, transparent. It, it looks like it wants to be HD, but I think it's transparent. After I applied the makeup, I sprayed the freeze spray on the lace and just blow dried it. And now we're going to position the wig on her head. We're going to proceed to sew that wig down, making sure we sew the bottom of that wig underneath the bottom of that cap so that cap is fully hidden and if the wind um blows all you see is the hair you don't see none of the cap none of her locks everything is fully secured I'm smoothing back my first layer of glue. I use four layers today. Make sure each layer dries clear before you apply the next. That last layer is dry, so now I'm gonna to proceed to lay my lace down, and I'm gonna use the teeth of the comb and my blow dryer interchanging between hot and cool air to secure that lace to her skin. Lately, I've been cutting off the ear tabs after I um, glued the wig down. Um, this is not going to be like my new technique or anything. It's just like sometimes I cut the excess off after I glue it down. Sometimes I cut it off before. It just depends on how I'm feeling in my mood. But I did want to add that in there that I did do that. Um, if y'all caught that. I also want to add that I took this wig fresh out the box and just installed it. The only thing I did was pluck the hairline. I did not wash this wig. I didn't condition it. I didn't tone it. I didn't change the color. I didn't bleach the knots. I didn't do anything but take the wig fresh out the box and pluck it. And I installed it. After her layers are dry and after we tie her lace down for 10 minutes with the elastic band, I'm proceeding to cut off her excess lace. Yes, you're going to see a white cast because we need to add more makeup. But don't worry, I'm going to get it to blend. I'm going back in with my Ruby Kisses Level 16 again just to get rid of that cast. And then we're going to separate out our baby hairs and spray the lace with our hairspray and tie it down with our elastic band. So I didn't feel like the ends of this wig were a little thin, so I went ahead and gave this hair a cut. I cut it to like a long, medium length type of hairstyle, added some layers throughout, and this is where we are. So now I'm taking her elastic band off. We're going to cut her baby hairs and curl them and then swoop them into place and tie them down using our wrap strips. And then we're going to proceed to curl. Like he's no item. Please don't like him. He don't wife him. He one nice him. I never let him know. I should have figured though. All the shit you was spit.
sitting so unimaginary. But it was you, so I was with it. Then to tell you the truth, which we never did it. Cause I usually do, stick to the business. But you came out the blue, then and you just went there. And then, baby, my mind's blown. Be forgetting you live in a different time zone. Think I know what this is, just the time's wrong. Yeah, I know what you did, but baby, I'm grown. And my love is patient and kind of shit. This is where we could build the different types of shit. You was really the realest, wouldn't be fighting it. I think your pride is just in the way. And now I'm using my T3 1.5 inch curling iron on the second to highest heat setting. I never use my T3 irons on the hottest setting because it'd be so hot, it literally be burning the hair. So I always put it on like the fourth dot, which is the second to highest heat setting. And it does perfectly without burning the hair. And we're just going to curl it and pin as I do normally. Um, we curl everything away from the face. Anything we had to do, I did try to teach my mother. 
plenty, plenty, plenty so far with me, bitch. Uh-huh. Just to make some money, yeah. Uh-huh. But my people, they go say, I love money. And I sprayed my Sebastian Shaper Plus on the hair after I finished curling each side. Her baby hairs are dry. I did sit her up under the dryer for like an additional 10 minutes just to make sure everything was dry. And then, you know, I fixed them off camera to my liking, you know, combing them out, cutting them down some more, and then spraying hairspray and laying them back down. All that good jazz. Now we're taking out our pin curls, and then we're going to hot comb the hair just to make sure it's going in the direction that we want. Then we're going to comb those curls out, and baby, we're going to have a final look. And don't be afraid to go back in and add some more layers, honey. Layers just make the hair pop, honey. It is nothing wrong with cutting your wig. I highly recommend it, okay? Period. And you can't even tell she got locks underneath this wig. It's laying so flat. It looks so good. It's not humpy. It's not lumpy. It just looks amazing, like... And then this color, this is her first time trying this type of color, y'all. And she was so geek. Like, I literally gave her a whole transformation. I took her from beautiful to beautiful. Because I hope you know, with the locks, just regular free-flowing how they are, it's beautiful as well. And if you want to put a wig on, that's beautiful too. Make sure you check the description box below for all the details and information. I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And turn the notification bell. Goodbye.